Hi folks, today's menu is burnt ends. We've got a Boston butt recipe that is amazing and we're gonna take it up a notch and we're gonna do burnt end Boston butt bites. You've had this. And I am like crazy excited because I had this the other day. Good. And it is out of this world insanely crazy so, good. And, and John has been working on a uh, Brussels sprout recipe yep. that you're gonna show me. I've actually not had your Brussels your sprouts recipe. the new craze now, so we're gonna try a recipe to complement our Boston butt burn ends. So we're gonna take a seven to eight pound bone-in Boston butt. Some people call that a pork roast. And we're gonna find the bone right in the center there and we're gonna cut this at an angle because we're actually gonna show you how to do two recipes here at the same time. So you're, you're cutting it at the bone yep. down at an angle. Keep the bone in there okay. because the one that we're gonna have with the bone is actually gonna be our pulled pork recipe. Okay. And if you'll notice, there's a big fat cap on top of that. We are not going to trim that one. Okay. We're gonna put it in a pan. We're gonna take the one that we've actually cut now that's about three pounds of this, and you want to actually trim off some of the fat. And why, why, did, why trim the fat? Because we're actually doing this as our burn ends, and we're, there's so much fat and marble inside of this Boston butt, we're going to have plenty to work with, okay. and we want to make this cut of the meat a little more lean. You can even see where there's a, a layer, and it looks like you're being a little wasteful with some of the meat but we want this section of it to be just a little bit more lean. And what we're gonna do is add our ingredients. So John, if you'll do me the honors. Okay. We're gonna actually coat both of these Boston butts with just yellow mustard. So and just go just, yep, all, just over. all over? Tell me when. Keep going, keep going. You're really putting a lot of mustard yeah. here. Some people can do this and put it in the refrigerator overnight. That's good. Would you put that in like a bag or just leave it in the pan? You could leave, no, if you're gonna leave it in there overnight, put it in a gallon bag. Okay. Coat that one for me. Okay. Now what this mustard does is it gives me a little bit of flavor. Well, you put a lot on that one. <laughs> We've got the flavor of the mustard for the marinade, plus it allows that rub to stick to it. So now John, take that sweet, barbecue rub. Here. This is actually a butt rub that we use on our recipes, but when you're doing this recipe, you can use your favorite barbecue rub. And just, right. just give me a good coating all over it. Okay. There you go. You want to get all sides. So you're covering this entire thing with this butt rub. Completely cover it. And the more you put on there, the more you're going to get. And you can't nice, put too much of this butt rub either, um, right? Not, not really. Okay. Get it good and coated. There you go. All right. Same, Same thing. thing on the one that doesn't have the bone. Okay. There you go. It's a two-man operation. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Brilliant rub pouring there for me. So for today we're using the Masterbuilt Thermal Temp Propane Smoker. Love this guy because it's going to allow us to control the temperature to perfection. We're going to set it at 250 degrees okay. to smoke these two for two to three hours. And we're putting them on now? So John, if you'll bring those over here. There you go. Going around the wrong way. Now, obviously with the magic of television, we've already had one smoking on there too. And what you want to make sure that you do, this is a smaller cut of the meat that is with no bone. So this one's going to smoke at 250 degrees in about two to two and a half hours. The one with the bone is going to have to smoke for a little bit longer because it's a little larger and it's got the bone in. Okay. The goal is to get these two up to 200 or to 160 to 165 degrees internal temperature. Okay. Now I've already temped these and they are on the money. So these so, two have been cooking. Yes. So see, that's the one with the bone in that's been cooking. And this is the one without the bone and you'll notice there's a good bit of that flavor and the fat renderings in that pan. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Boston butt, tear me off some aluminum foil. Gotcha. We're gonna wrap it in aluminum foil three or four times. Give me a nice, good layer there. Put it right on top. And we're gonna wanna wrap this at least 
three or four times and create kind of a cocoon. And that is gonna continue to cook this Boston butt. The goal is to get the internal temperature from 160 to 165 all the way up to about 200 degrees internal temperature. Now, there you go. you've actually got another tray down there, John, right here. Gotcha. Even though you've got this wrap, I would recommend putting it back in a pan. And is that for easy cleanup? Is easy that Because it's going to leak a little bit, maybe, It right? might leak a little bit, and it keeps everything into that tray. And we're so keeping we put, this one out? We're going to keep that one out. So remember, recipe number one, pulled pork. That'll be done in about another three hours. We're going to take this Boston Bud again. Internal temperature is about 160 to 165. It is not to the pulling stage yet because it's not up to 200 degrees. And we're going to basically slice this up into about one inch cubes. Okay. And if you'll see there, we're still a little undercooked and almost to the done stage. And we're basically gonna get this to, to where we cut it into one by one inch okay. little squares. And it's because it's not to the pull stage, it's relatively easy to cut because it's staying together, right? Absolutely. And I, I heard you say this the other day, is if you actually have leftover pork, you can actually put it in the refrigerator or freeze it, take it out, and it's actually easy Easier to cut to and cut. it'll stay in cubes like that as well. Exactly. So we've got that in our tray. We're gonna get rid of this. Now, here's where we're gonna get a lot more flavor. We're gonna take some butter we're gonna cube that butter up and place all over the top. So John, if you'll take this knife right here, okay, and just cut me up about five or six squares and place them all over, okay? While he's doing that, we're gonna take some honey and we're gonna put honey over the top. That's crazy. So who'd have thought about putting honey on Boston butt? So we've got butter, we've got honey. And there's just, your because the butter's gonna melt, so you're gonna put this butter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna take it out it and mix right, it yep. up again. So we've got butter, we've got honey. We're gonna completely coat this. Now, you can't put too much barbecue sauce on there because okay. that's where you're gonna get that burn in flavor and look. And then we're gonna top it off with the last little ingredient that gives us that great little caramelized look and flavor. So we got our last little bit of brown sugar on, and and what are we gonna do with this. our leftovers here? This is the uh, the fat renderings from the the Boston butt cooking in a pan. You want to just put that around the edge, and why the edge? And um, you actually, if you put it on before I put all the ingredients, you can just pour it all okay. over the top. So it's just for flavor. We already put the ingredients on, so we're just giving it a little bit more flavor in the bottom of that pan. Okay, get rid now, of this. We're gonna add some aluminum foil to the top and put it back on the smoker for about 90 more minutes. Now what this does is while the pulled pork is wrapped getting up to 200 degrees, we want all of these little bites to go up to temperature. Each little bite still has a little bit of that amazing flavor yep. that a Boston butt has that makes it so forgiving. A little bit of that fat still in each cube. So we're gonna break that down and get these up to 195 to 200 okay. degrees. Toss it on the smoker. We're gonna add, you see the smoke flavor coming out. I wanna show you this in the bottom. The thermal temp allows you to have the separate door in the bottom. Notice we've got it set at 250 degrees and basically you add your wood chip to the bottom, okay? So we've got our apple hickory wood chunk on there, thin blue smoke, smoker is cranking. Yes, so we've got this on now so that when we come back, we're gonna do your Brussels sprouts that are gonna be amazing. Super pumped. See you in 90 minutes. So guys, it's been 90 minutes. We're gonna get our Brussels sprouts going. Dad, if you will, hand me the cast iron skillet. We've got it nice and hot. We're gonna pull that off and prep our Brussels sprouts. I've got a secret secret and ingredient That's that I high. am super excited about. That's gonna make these things crazy good. So to get these things going, we're gonna take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. 
we're going to pour that liberally Ooh. in the pan. Take a, a brush because it's nice and hot, and I'm going to paint that just to give it a nice coat. Okay, can you do those in just a regular aluminum pan if you don't have a cast iron skillet? Absolutely can. Okay. I prefer cast iron because it's just nice flavor. We're going to okay. take some sea salt, and I'm going to put just a light coat of sea salt, not too much. We're going to take these Brussels sprouts, and we're going to lay them face down. They're half-cut Brussels sprouts. The face down allows them to cook the bottom side of that Brussels sprout, give them a nice golden brown. We're going to lay these out. And what I'm going to show you guys here is I've got two types of Brussels sprouts. One is blanched and one is just fresh cut. We're going to do half and half on this. So blanching, you boil any vegetable or Brussels sprouts in salt water for about 30 seconds. You take them out, drain them, and then put them in the fridge or you chill them immediately. That stops them Woo. from beginning to cook. Side that's hot. Don't and, touch <laughs> and essentially blanching allows that Brussels sprout to retain moisture and cook the outside of the Brussels sprout without drying up. All right, so you can hear these sizzling They're just starting a little bit to sizzle. this pan is super hot. Okay. So now that you've got those in the pan, I'm gonna take a little bit of seasoned salt, and I prefer just a little bit of seasoned salt. You can't add too much again, because Brussels sprouts, I like mine to be a nice little salt flavor. Okay. And that's it, we're ready to put these back on to the smoker. So, those are Cute. I'll give you that. I'm actually They're good. looking forward <laughs> to trying those. This? Yes. Wait do you see this. We've had this Holy process moly. of cooking these things, and you can see how much, Ooh. I mean, it's actually sitting in a lot of flavor. So this is a lot of juice, Dad. Is that is that normal? It, it actually, that's a little more than I sometimes will have. So if you have too much of the the juice and the fat renderings, all you got to do is transfer them to another pan. I want a little bit of that juice, <clears throat> but I don't want quite that much. So we're gonna transfer them, okay. get them all in. I'm so, pour this, and just take me just a little bit on the outside, right over the top, right over the top of them. Okay. Okay. Let me win. There you go. A little bit more. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. So. Now we'll get rid of that. So we've got all of these flavors, unbelievable bold flavors blending together. And if you want to add just a little bit more God of a touch Lee. to it, that smells good. take that and just hit it one more time with a little so bit that's more barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. Just a little bit more sweet barbecue sauce okay. on the top. All of those flavors are blending together. And just can you add perfectly. more honey, or I think you got enough sweetness going on okay. already. So with all of that, plus the brown sugar adds a little sweetness to it and some cuteness and some cuteness. So we got cute little Brussels sprouts going back on, and cute we've got round Brussels three sprouts. of my Bernie and Boston butt bites. We're gonna put these back on the smoker. So we've turned the smoker up to the 350 degrees, and this is a, a little bit quicker. This is a perfect complement to the Brussels sprouts because you want them to cook at 350 at a high temp. Yep. So we got about 30 to 45 more minutes on this recipe, caramelizing that barbecue yep. sauce to the burn end. Time to take off John's Brussels sprouts and and I'm going to put my, my burnt ends. I'm going to put my folks, secret sauce, that which is a balsamic vinegar glaze. Uh, we're going to paint these on top of the Brussels sprouts. So they're, we're going to leave them in the pan. I'm going to take a little of this, a little bit of this, this glaze, and I'm not going to put much because it doesn't take a lot of this glaze to give you some flavor. And the the heat of the pan and the Brussels sprouts will melt that glaze just a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to take those out and just put them right here on this cutting board. So now we've got John's Brussels sprouts and now we've got the bites. Oh you want to Lord. give those a nice little stir and again, get all of those flavors blended together. And can you put more barbecue sauce or honey on top of them? You absolutely can. And the more you put of that sweet on there, the more you're gonna Holy get that burn in. Moly. So, whew. so, look at that. Burn in, Boston butt bites. This recipe is super popular in a lot of restaurants. They do it with ribs, they do it with briskets, they do it with pork belly, and we're doing it with a Boston butt recipe. 
If you want the Boston Butt recipe, we've got a full recipe specifically to that. But if you want to take it up another notch and have... Lord have mercy mm. on your soul. Here we go. Mm. I'm going to try mine. Compliment it. Compliment with a nice Brussels sprout. Oh, you knocked it. Mm. Oh, ah! That's hot.